Okay, so welcome back to Ben and Sean Farm. Today's video, we are going to be spreading, sorry as you can see, the tractors up there, because our tanks are near full. I will have drone shots and all. Uh, and yeah, so we'll get into the video. Drawn up, uh, and this is the pipe. Out of a lot of pressure, it's like a concrete, and pump that out. We we'll pump it all the way down to our multi species. Sorry, I'm trying to hold this on the camera, but we're most uh, we're we'll pumping it all the way down through this pipe to our multi species. As you can see, we have lots of grass around so hopefully frost or something doesn't come we also have a lot of docks around but that's normal enough uh well we normally always have docks i cannot see the joints probably oh okay i'm gonna oh, no. still alive anyways or not alive it's still up there this is where we had cows out it's a bit poached but i'll go back to you when we're up there so the drone's up there uh but you see where he spread uh this is our multi-species that doesn't have a whole lot of species in it it's kind of like a grass clover mix multi-species never really form but some lads were saying to us that it maybe forms after a couple of years years or maybe two or three years it's there's good grass here as you can see on the drone see look there that's where they all flood the bogs it looks like a solar farm see there and uh, that's up there but you probably can't see it so yeah i'm gonna get some cool drone shot so i said quickly before i come on or we put on the drone shots because they're all now pipes and all i just say about the slurry so it's all our own slurry we're putting out here on our multi-species ground is a bit wet but it's not as wet as what it was or it is as wet as what it was i mean it's after getting fierce wet in the past few weeks now nah, i'm not getting over that uh i get over up here at the trot the wire is a bit lower i'm gonna show you i might not even get all through there i have my drone down just to save battery because drones go through a lot of battery 
Uh, so when we were receiving this spot, uh, we put the fence in a little bit so we could when we were seeding this we'd have a good even spot because we only bought this stand a year or two ago but you can see i'll come out here a little but you can see this is all this bit in it's all new grass that bit's new grass that bit's old grass you can see the line uh so yeah um what we are spreading is we're spreading our some of our grazing ground two of our silage fields two out of four silage fields and we are spreading two out of four silage fields and then the rest the sorry that's left in the tank will go either out there into the pasture or it will go to our other two fields but we want to get them grazed off first because the year that is in a all the grass grew really well and there's a lot of grass there so we kind of want to try get rid of that grass before just to get a good even cut uh, and yeah that's all that we think we're going to be able to cover anyways so so on our farm every year we pump out slurry out of our two four bed slatted tanks uh roughly about around about eight nine foot deep i think anyways so they're just pumping it out you have your generator and all and they're pumping it out through these pipes see this black pipe going all the way down along it's going all the way and it has slurry pumping through and the slurry pumps down to the uh umbilical system which you can see in the distance to new holland with the mass tech triple bar back system and the front reeler and a back reeler so you can see all our grass around here because we are solely grass we only have grass on our farm well grass grass stalks and rushes but it's grass so like you can see all the wooded areas the bog areas the ditches and all so it's helping the biodiversity as well all the ditches and the grasslands so it's not heavily productive or it's not heavily farmed or whatever you want to call it for anyways um so we're spreading slurry using low emissions so what slurry is is cow dung uh it's goes down into a tank it's left sit till whenever we get to spread it let's spread out on the land so it's, it's like cow's dunging uh, on the grass just we spread it on the legs for the silage ground grow silage so we take off the silage in the summer and the cows eat it they produce the dung then the dung goes back in the slurry ground uh, or on the silage ground and uh, mix grass for next year's silage instead of heavily using uh, fertilizer which is fertilizer is your 10 10 20 or urea or, or something like that uh, we are using dung this year or have our uh, using our dung to the best advantage this year and our slurry uh, spreading it to make the grass grow so we have grass in the summer for the cows to eat and all uh, so they're just this is actually a new system a new umbilical system uh, so it's low emissions the slurry comes from the tank pump through all these black pipes as you can see all around and into the uh, triple bar let's we'll say and out onto the ground and instead of using a splash plate where it splashes all, all over it's better for the environment or it has a lower carbon something I don't know uh, but 
it's no omission story sprint so it has no more omissions um as you can see we are leaving bits of marks but these tires are pretty good so we can travel um, and just bits of marks in the crow back and the grass and the cows elite so i wouldn't worry about that um yeah so i think i might even put a bit of music on the video for the last few minutes uh so yeah So, hope you like the drone shots. Uh, we'll have a good bit spread, the other bit spread as well. Uh, and oh, it's nice and straight lines. Uh, I think it's a new Holland T68 or something. It's an older tractor. Uh, but yeah, hope you liked the drone shots. So we have this tank here, our old part, because you can see here there's a line all the way down the shed where this was the older part and you used to be able to drive in from here I suppose. I wasn't alive when this was built. But uh, you can drive in, put your bale there or whatever, grab the silage. So this is the older tank. That's the newer tank. Uh, we got that down about three quarters of the way. The cattle will fill it again and we need more slurry. And we're just steadily pumping this one out. So a class eight, or no. Yeah, it's a class eight, 10, uh, 800, or, about 200 and something horsepower a class 810 so it's down just below halfway it's pumping out to the new holland out in the field ah. to new with the pump uh. what what and i'll see um, yeah. And, uh, oh yeah, yeah. No, he's not. Yes. Uh, so he's actually not back yet. He's just, I say, blowing out pipes and rolling up pipes. But yeah, he's empty. So the the new Holland out there. That is a new dribble bar set up so yeah uh as you can see if i go out here actually i don't know how deep them tanks are i'll see maybe later i'll put it up on the screen but you can see this is the dung we put out, trotting down well. You can see all of this stuff in it. Trotting well down into the ground, and the sorry will come, put more in it. See? There. One, two worms, and uh -huh. Worm a worm, two worms eating up to this, up to it, letting it free out, and that's how it gets its stuff out into the ground. And then another worm there, 
Uh, and also we have good grass out here anyways. So yeah, we'll get this done. So this is one of the paddocks that has been spread. Nice slurry out. Put them fart back into the put the stuff back into the ground that we took away last summer. Our stuff. So yeah. Uh, he's going back out there. Shall I say roll it up and then come back and he has four more paddocks left to do. And I'd predict, I don't have a watch with me or anything, I'd predict it's about heading towards half five. So there's a great stretch in the evening. So now, uh, shutting back up wires. So that. Sorry, fertilising the ground. Okay, so it's getting dark enough, so I'm just going to leave that video there. Or this video in here. Uh, they're still pumping away. They only have an acre left or, some, or something like it. He's... Uh, nah, you won't get to see him. He's just blown out. Going to the next acre or so. So, yeah. That is the end of today's video. As always, make sure to like and subscribe and stay farming.